All right, we are back on Trip Live Radio, joined by a special guest in studio. Hello. Sarah Hunter. She's Now, granted, she is featured at Blush Exotic all week long. She's doing shows, what, two shows per night? Uh, yes, I'm doing two shows every night at approximately 10 p.m. and 12 a.m., um, and then also two matinee shows on Friday for their Christmas in June party. Christmas so in like June party. noon and, and 5 p.m. approximately. That, that's going to be cool. Now, if you've ever been to a Christmas party at Blush, the, the original, like the actual Christmas party at Blush is always fun. But this is a special Christmas in June party, and she's not only is she doing her normal two shows on Friday, mm -hmm. she's doing matinee shows, too, in the afternoon mm -hmm. during the Christmas in June party. So you're getting bonus Sarah Hunter Friday night. <laughs> I mean, you you, you got to be a little bit, you know, got to be a little bit nuts to want to do extra work, or is it's it just gonna fun be crazy. for you? I mean, it, I mean, it's you know what? Honestly, it is fun for me because I really like I love interacting with the audience and like playing with them like while I'm on stage and stuff. So it's it's you know like I enjoy it actually. Now this is something you don't hear often, especially nowadays because the term maybe isn't as used as often. But you've been described as a burlesque model and dancer, and mm -hmm. that's not really thrown a lot, around a lot. It's kind of an old school spin on it. So, what, what, what really is your, you know, what's your motivation behind all that to consider yourself a burlesque performer? Well, I mean, as a model, I, I started out mostly doing um, pinup and alternative fashion. So, like when I started performing, I really wanted to try to incorporate more costumes and more props and stuff into the show. I know a lot of girls um, that, like, especially the girls that start out doing like video and stuff like like adult video tend to, to uh, like I've I've heard I don't know if this is true I under, I've heard that some of them think that like that, that basically all they have to do is show up at the club <laughs> and not actually put on a show and so I really try to like make an effort for when I because I've only been doing this for a year wow so um so when I am putting a show together I try to do something that I would want to watch that I something that I would want to see that like I wouldn't normally see at a strip club now you mentioned you know incorporating costume as being a big deal now mm -hmm. If you watched your show, your first show last night, and this is something that kind of got misinterpreted, it kind of looked like a pirate outfit. <laughs> That's what was told to me. But what, ex what outfit was that exactly? And, and how do you come up with the, your inspiration behind some of the costumes that you use? Well, I mean, I do a lot of sci-fi fantasy conventions. And for my, my day job is I work for a company called Brute Force Studios that does uh, wardrobe and props for television and movies. Multifaceted. So, Pay attention. <laughs> so uh, that was I, I tried to do kind of like a steampunk routine. So like very like Victorian inspired with corsetry and so I had a little, like a little pop gun that like, you know and I, I don't know I don't know I like I don't like cause Vic, steampunk is basically like Victorian science fiction so like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Wow Wild Wild West kind of that kind of stuff so uh, actually my my Christmas uh, show that I'm doing on Friday you're gonna see a little bit of that also. That's why you should get down to Blush Exotic downtown on 9th Street on Friday for the Christmas in June party, because she just gave you a good reason. Granted, another reason, one of my favorite reasons, the sports bar on the third floor. I know you said you haven't gotten the chance to see it yet, but Blush has undergone a lot of change in the past several yeah, months. What's I've your impression that. of the club so far? Um, I, I think it's absolutely, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like I walked in the dressing room and I was like, oh, this is nice. Like I'm not like not in somebody's like you know storage closet. This is really cool. Getting some A plus yeah. treatment there. Yeah, it was it was beautiful, and you know and. I mean, the girls are really sweet. Um, I've heard great things about the sports bar upstairs. I'm thinking, like, maybe after my 5 p.m. show, I might pop Gotta up there for a bit. And, Gotta do it. You know. Great food, too. Check out the food. Check out the menu. I, I'm speaking from experience. It's worth it. It's Seriously, it's it's top shelf. But uh, as far as the crowds, how, how's the crowds been? How's the interaction? Having fun with that at all? Uh, yeah, actually. I mean, it was, you know, it's earlier in the week, you know, so it's a little, starting out a little slow. But I think, I'm like, from what I understand, like, the weekend is gonna really going to pick up a lot. And so, like, even, like, the, the small crowd I had last night like everybody was like re like really getting into it and like getting like right up toward the stage and like like i was trying to like kind of you know play with them and talk to them and like joke around with like the guys in the front and be like hey you know how you doing and like you know how important is it to to have that kind of personality because you don't want to come off as just like eh, you know i'm just you know doing this and just you know throw the money and i leave i mean obviously you you want to try to keep a certain level of you know, interaction and try to, per, sure. you know, try to purvey a certain kind of, of attitude. I mean, it's, it's a balance because, you know, you're trying to keep that illusion of being like the fantasy on stage, but also, I mean, it's, it's like guys are, people are there to have fun, you know? So like, you don't want to, like you, you want them to be into it, that you want them to be into the show and interact with you and like make it like a, like have like a little moment you know, with them when you're on stage, like really, yeah, exactly. Have a connection with the audience. And I think, um, people tend to enjoy the show more and get into it more when they feel like you're having fun. I mean, cause you can tell, I mean, you can always tell when a girl's not having fun on stage, but she just you doesn't really want to be there, you know? So 
like I, you know, I enjoy what I do and I try to kind of project some of that on, onto the people watching the show as well. And I think that helps. And, and for those of you watching right now, she even got herself all dressed up to come hang out with us today. <laughs> I, I, I asked her, I said, you're wearing a dress. Don't they, did they tell you how these things work? Well, they but, said it was going to be video. So like, I mean, I could have showed up in like yoga pants and see, like, that's trainers how, and stuff. That's but, how dedicated know. she is. She even gets herself dolled up for the video for you guys. So all, you know, all the same Respond in kind. Come down to Blush Exotic, Night Street downtown. Come check out Sarah Hunter. And we talked a little bit off air mm-hmm. about a few things that you do. And you, you kind of travel around a lot. You mentioned the sci-fi conventions. I do. Yeah, I do, I do Comic-Con every year um, in San Diego. I do Dragon Con in Atlanta. Um, I like a lot of lot of steampunk events. Um, but I mean, I also, I feature dance, um, obviously. So like I go to clubs all over the country. I, and I, I model as well. I've been in Hustler, Penthouse, Taboo. Um, so... I'm probably traveling maybe two or three weekends out of every month in the busy season. So Now, I asked you what the weirdest outfit you ever wore at a convention was. And you had a pretty creative answer that I did not see coming. So you have to share this well, with our audience here. <laughs> the weirdest outfit you ever wore at a convention. You got you to tell them the well, story. Well, to me, like, it's not, like, like, as I said to you, it's like, it's not weird. And, like, nothing is really weird to me anymore because... True. You know, after a while, it's like, oh, okay, you know, guy's wearing a, like, hey, that guy dressed up as, like, the chicken from Family Guy, and it's, like, fighting a guy dressed as Peter, and, like, okay, that's, you know. And or the evil go- monkey. Yeah, and that becomes normal after a while. So, <laughs> um, but for me, I think the, the instance I told you about is I was um, doing some uh, live modeling for a workshop for Adobe uh, in D.C., and so I was wearing this full-on, like, black and red, like, uh, dragon slayer armor with a giant plastic sword and and everybody they and everybody had a great time photoshopping it because they were putting because the the idea was that um, whoever could fo- like would take a picture and do the best photoshop job on it adobe would give them like a prize or like software or something um so one guy actually did a, a photo of me where he covered me in like blood and it so it's like and i'm licking the sword and it's like i'm licking the blood off the sword it was really cool because like there was no actual blood at all in like in the photo shoot but like you could just like the way that he did it was so good like everyone thought that it was real so it was pretty cool i have nothing else to say to that <laughs> she she dresses up in costumes she slays dragons even if it's only in your mind but she does everything and this it, is why you should come see sarah Hunter. what is that like that, that that game that kate upton is all on about now it's like you see commercials for all the time kind of doing the, oh like age of war I yeah think something like called. that yeah, yeah she so. see she's better than that and she's actually here <laughs> in the flesh she can slay dragons right there for you on stage bless exotic ninth street downtown i think i should i think i should do that i think you should do that show. i think, I think I you should do that. slay some dragons and, and come and see her and show your appreciation for it sarah hunter in town all week long blush exotic downtown christmas in june party friday she'll be there throughout the day Come check her out. Come show her love, Pittsburgh. Let her know you appreciate her. Josh Taylor, Trib Live Radio.